Yes. The prayer app, Hallow, like Hallow Be Thy Name, seeing the biggest spike in downloads in its history after this Super Bowl ad. We thank you for this time to come together as a family, as friends, and as a country. Help us, Lord, especially this Lent, to grow closer to you. Amen. Join us in prayer this Lent on Hallow. Stay prayed up. Oh, I loved it. Now more than a million people are ready to pray together starting today because it is Ash Wednesday. We have Mark Wahlberg and Jonathan Rumi joining us on this incredible response. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. God Thank is you. moving across our country to watch the Super Bowl and see so many faith-based ads. The Hallow ad was really, really touching. What, what's your reaction to this spike? You broke history. We just want to continue to encourage people to grow closer to God. So uh, it's been amazing. Ever since I was fortunate enough to get involved with the Hallow app uh, right around the, the release of Father Stu, um, you know, it really has, has allowed me to contribute as much as I possibly can and use the platform that I have to encourage people to have a, a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Both of y'all are actors, and we hear all the time that if you talk about your faith as an actor, that uh, that can... Um, remove you from different parts and different opportunities but that would be love, really hard for him I know, considering the part Jesus. that he plays that I know, is, I know but uh, you haven't seen it, you've got to watch Father Stu and you have to watch uh, the, uh, the Chosen because you play such a phenomenal Jesus, you just exude you. love in that part, uh, what was your reaction to breaking history with this app uh, that, it was awesome, I mean it was just you know, I, I think we're Hallow is, is filling a need and to be able to, you know, uh, see the expression of that in a commercial during the Super Bowl and know that so many people want to get connected to God, want to have a deeper relationship. They want to improve their prayer life and the fact that Hallow can actually help them achieve that in ways that are so meaningful. It's just, it's just music to my ears. Yeah, and, yeah, and so many things have caused a disconnect over the years, especially yeah. with COVID. I mean, I hadn't gone to church for over a year. It was, uh, it was a very difficult time and people, people are really looking to reconnect and find something that will, will fulfill that need. I must say though, I w we had mass this morning. Mm -hmm. Jonathan did the second reading and I was just listening to his voice and it was just it was different so mm. soothing right yeah. you have a 4 a.m. club tell mm -hmm. us about that I mean, you clearly already had your mask you have your ashes on your forehead these guys were at the gym at four <laughs> o'clock they were like where were you yes. I didn't realize it's my day off today I mean I people are always like why can't you have a normal schedule my thing is if I'm at home I do all the things that I need to do that are personal time mm -hmm. uh, before the kids and my wife get up mm -hmm. but I mean I always get eight hours of sleep it's not like I'm, I'm you know burning the candle at both ends per se I'm getting the rest that I need it's sure. just if I in a perfect world I'll go to bed at 7 7 30 wake up at 3 3 30 and then do my things get those out of the way before I start my day with my family or work and you start with prayer absolutely I have a lot to be grateful for. When you get out of bed, I was reading that you are on your knees immediately. Yes. Yes. How important is that to start your day in prayer? I think it sets everything up. It, it, it sets up your mindset. It sets your spirit up for, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the challenges perhaps for the day and as, as well as the successes. And I think as Mark's saying, you know, starting the day with gratitude and, mm -hmm. and knowing that, you know, we've been given so much in this life. Um, to be grateful for to God and and, uh, and being able to, to express that through prayer. Uh, and also all of us needing to do more. I mean, yeah. you know, people are always asking, what are you giving up? I've given many things up for Lent, whether it be, uh, you know, alcohol or something, you know, sweet. But for me, it's really about trying to do more, you know, trying to be better, trying to grow as a person, as a servant to God, a father, a husband you know, as an example, um, you know, and, and using all that real life experience that I have, I think it gives me a bit of credibility with people who have been struggling and who have, who have faced adversity. And so, you know, we just want to be able to do more. And I think what better than to have Ash Wednesday fall on Valentine's Day, because where do you get more love than with the Lord? And with in a time where there's such a disconnect, we need things to bring people together. Mm -hmm. And the power of prayer is doing that. So you're launching the Lent Prayer and Fasting Challenge today on this Ash That's Wednesday. Right. Tell us about that. So uh, we basically, for Ash, uh, for Lent, on beginning today, we on Hal, we, we take this book called He Leadeth Me, written by this uh, Jesuit priest named Father Walter Chiswick. And we, uh, it's a book that's uh, about, all about surrender. Uh, this, the man who wrote the book um, lived quite some time ago, and he, he basically spent 20 years in, in Russia in prison camps, and, and 
his whole experience of how he had to surrender to God in order to be able to get through that experience is the focus of the challenge. And so we pray uh, every day. We do excerpts from the book. We pray um, different prayers. Mark does a fasting challenge uh, every uh, Friday, is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and uh, basically just lead people through prayer throughout the entire time of life. I love your app. Palo is great, and you can choose the voice of who you want to read the meditation that day. That's and right. You're my voice every day. Sweet. Um, I'm not jealous, by the way. I'm not jealous. So I do pray with his rosary every almost every really? day. Yeah, yeah, oh, I pray beautiful. his rosary. People say, I always hear from people, they always say, oh, my God, you pray so fast, you speak so fast. I'm like, well, I got a lot to He's do got in stuff a short to do. amount of time. I mean, I'm, I'm still looking for time to, to catch up. That's okay. Everyone likes a different cadence. Uh, Fox & Friends Prayer Series starts uh, this coming Sunday. Every Sunday, Pete Hegseth, who's our weekend anchor, is going to read from the Hallow app during Lent. And I know that we want to read one of the meditations. Yes. So I'll start it. Will you help me finish it, please? Sure, sure. Okay. So it says, how easy it is in times of ease for us to become dependent on our routines, friends, and possessions surround us. One day is followed by the next. Good health and happiness for the most part are ours. We don't have to desire much of the things of this world in order to have gained this sense of comfort and of well-being, to trust in them as our support and to take God for granted. Somehow then, God must contrive to break through those routines of ours and remind us once again that we are ultimately dependent only upon Him, that the things of this world and this world itself are not our lasting city, that His we are, and that we must look to Him and turn to Him in everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Amen. Oh, that's Amen. beautiful. Yes, it's a simple prayer. Very I surrender simple. everything, and I know God will take over the that rest. That one prayer changed your life. Yeah. When you went for your audition to play Jesus on The Chosen, have you heard your whole life you look a lot like Jesus? Um, when I when I grew out the hair and the beard, uh -huh. it start I started getting a lot of comparisons. That yeah. and Scott Stapp from Creed before the beard, so. I was walking through the green room looking for you, and I'm like, I'm looking for Jesus. Yeah. I've been looking for Jesus my whole yeah. life. And we all. Yeah, we have. God bless you both. Everyone God download Hallow. It is a fantastic app. Just support them. Support uh, this challenge. And I'm, I just love you both, and I love Jesus, and I'm so thankful for what you're doing. Our world is just, we need, we need people like y'all to talk about Christianity. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. So Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, coming up. Pete Hegseth, Will Kane, and House Majority Leader Steve Scalise. Didn't need no one to tell him what was wrong or right.